here we are. It's been a long time. You know, the last race we ran was uh, Sebring at the end of February. I've had one race in the last eight months and I've been chomping at the bit. see all the color. They look like a bunch of Skittles out there. It's really cool and they're really sexy. GT Celebration is a club formed by Rob Morgan and his dad Charles. They're, Charles is an old racer from back in the day. They're racers through and through and they really are able to bring a lot to the table uh, when it comes to this type of racing. They have more cars on the grid here than they would for an IMSA race, you know, uh, sprint race. Tip my cap to GT Celebration. They really put together a good field of cars here. And isn't that what racing's all about? Ready to go. You just have to be realistic about your expectations on day one. I love racing. I love driving the car, uh, of course, but I also love the strategy and the chess game involved in a race weekend. There's a lot of guys trying to, you know, set their best laps out there. I knew we wouldn't be one of them. I'm really glad to be back in the car. I was a little kind of like uh, sleepwalking there, you know, not in the car, but just before getting in, it's like, okay, uh, where, where am I? And then, but once I got trucking along, you know, everything felt pretty natural. This car, I've got, it fits me like a glove, you know, this car and me uh, work really well together. No, it's good, good first session learning your track. You yeah, know. I think it's okay, yeah. My goal was to go out, learn the track, gradually build up to it, make sure I'm bringing the car home in one piece. Uh, we're on bad rubber and, uh, you know, just, just get a little experience. And then, uh, you know, as we go, as, we, as tomorrow arrives, we put better tires on it, and then we'll just go better. That's okay, no problem. So, just in those areas to try and concentrate as regards to the braking, just see where the limit is and come back from up. And then in the long sweep, we just see if it's more. Did you try out the second gear? That's not going to work. It's too, it's too low. But I am going a good three quarters. Of a, of a marker deeper everywhere. That's, that's all we need to know. I thought we'll come to you tomorrow with the, with the uh, newer, fresher tires for sure. Saturday, uh, you know, it's a whole new ball game from Friday. Friday's just practice only, uh, getting the car settled, learning the track, that type of thing. But Saturday's a different story. It's race day, race number one day. Um, you get a practice session in the morning, qualifying, and then you race. So. You know, it happens very quickly. It, it, with this format, we've all, we're only racing, we're only on track for half a day, so you don't have two hours in between sessions to get your act together mentally and the car physically. It's the practice right before qualifying, so the whole goal is to get dialed in, do the last minute fine tuning, and that's exactly what we did. You know, I went a second faster on used tires again, so, you know, it's all predicated on temperature, it's cooler, so the lap time will come down there, engine makes more power, but also a um, little bit more grip um, than what I had. We made a sway bar adjustment, which really fine-tuned and dialed it in, so we're ready for qualifying. Pull or die, baby. Okay, Ken, these are the sugar laps. Just put the head down, concentrate, put the laps together. I call it moving day, sort of like the PGA Tour, you know, it's uh, it's put up or shut up day. Let's let's lay down some good lap times and, and see if we can not work our way to the front of the field where these guys who race here all the time have already got this place wired and, and hopefully get close enough to them to where maybe we'd be able to bring the fight to them. You know, these GT3 cars are really fast. Uh, during the uh, qualifying session, uh, I had gone out and and turned a pretty good time. I made it to the 130s. Um, that, that's a pretty good time here. On the second lap, we caught slower traffic and got by them, and I just glanced in my mirror to see who was behind me. And the next thing you know, I look up, and I don't have enough room to get the car slowed down for the next corner. OK, if the tire's still clean, keep going. Got to keep the temperature of the tires, just keep going. 
rather than try and make the corner and screw the corner all up, you know, I decided to do a drive through um, through the pit. But we got to a 30.9, excellent job. Now we just have to outrace them. Lights are off, so that means we're going gr green this time by. Pack up, sit tight. You only have one more turn before we're going green. I made the call to go out in the race without a cool suit. Um, you know, it's a 40 minute race. I figured, ah, you know, I can go thir a 30 minute session, no problem. It, uh, you know, another extra 10 minutes should be no problem at all. But I made the wrong call. I got in a heated battle uh, during the race with a GMG car. It was great fun. You know, we raced clean, raced each other hard, but raced clean. But halfway through the race, you know, I'm starting to bonk. I, I, I'm heat exhausted. I can't get enough water from the drink tube. You know, it, it was, uh, it then became a, a survival uh, the last half of the race. I mean, in fact, I called in Owen, um, you know, how much time do we have left? And he says, you have 20 minutes left. It's a 40 minute race. And I thought, oh my gosh, it, it seemed like we'd been out there for an hour. Sebring, we did not have race pace, uh, you know, and we finished third there. I was disappointed with that, and I've had to chew on that for what, three months? And now we, we come out here, and I had a very disappointing race by my standards. I'm, I'm very unhappy with how I performed, and that's two in a row, and I, I, I'm just, I can't stand that. I'm pissed. and. And so now I've got a, a, you know, a second chance at it here. We have our, our Sunday race today, um, same format, practice qualifying race. So uh, we will use the cool suit and we'll see if that makes a difference. I mean, bottom line, I should have been able to run with the leaders. I qualified with the leaders. I need to be able to race with the leaders. And, and uh, you know, I plan to do something about that. Okay, get ready, get ready, get ready. Green, 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 green. Welch and those guys are gonna go deep. Watch your outside. Check the inside. You got somebody outside. Someone's outside. Okay, he's looking to take a move at you. Next to you. Okay, got another one, Porsche coming by. And the, the pit straight here where they throw the green flag, you know, is it's pretty congested. And luckily I was on the inside this time and I went inside of everybody. It was great, had a great start, got going good. Yeah, I was really happy with the car uh, for the race on Sunday. It handled great, stopped great, performed well. I mean, we were in touch with the lead group, you know. Uh, we got a good start. 
I felt good. I felt energized. Uh, you know, I was uh, I was gassed yesterday, and I didn't have a hint of that, including having a cool cool shirt on that wasn't working. So, think of you know an extra layer of plastic over your body, uh, conducting heat and sweat. So, I didn't notice it. You know, I felt good the whole wet race. My fault, totally my fault. Um, I was a little optimistic, uh, didn't stick. I passed the one car and I was going for the for the second car. I've had a problem with uh, lapping slower cars or cars that um, I need to get by in a hurry. But the guy I was racing was getting away, and you know, and I was catching him at that point. So, uh, what can you say? You know, I was aggressive. Uh, the next race on our agenda will be Mid-Ohio uh, at the end of June. Um, you know, we're in the middle of May right now. So, you know, we've got about six weeks to get ready uh, for that and, uh, and switch those gears. You know, this, this, uh, this race was only 35 minutes today. They cut it five minutes short because everybody's complaining about it being too hot. Um, but it's amazing what that five minutes does. So, uh, next time out, it's a 70-minute race with Trans Am. So. Uh, you know, switch gears, you gotta, gotta be able to last that little bit longer.